Apparently, there have been people that have been uh, talking a bunch of bullshit on Twitter. And the same crowd that is, uh, <laughs> that's all about freedom of speech isn't freedom from consequences. Well, now they're getting some consequences. And they don't like it. Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And it looks like some people fooled around and found out. Mm -hmm. Can we say fooled around? Is that, your new, is that your new favorite expression? I, I can't say the other one because it gets us demonetized. But they fooled uh -oh. around and found out what happens when you call one of the richest women in the world a Yahtzee. Uh, looks like they're going to get sued. And I got to tell you the truth. Uh, as, as someone who's been on the receiving end of that uh, myself, I think more people need to sue more often and this would stop. Well, I just well it was clearly not being sued it was the threatened so basically the way this probably worked is that jk rowling had her lawyers send this person a scary message and they said you have to retract your statements and say that you were totally wrong so they retracted their statements and they said that they were totally wrong uh, i think this is a very good thing uh, i i very much dislike the idea that people just like go absolutely ape shit with like calling you a Nazi and like a, a murderer and like this like right wing extremist, especially Nazi, because Nazi is a very defined term. Like you shouldn't just be allowed to just go around and call people that whenever it can damage their reputation. It, you just shouldn't be able to do this. Oh, is it? Are we saved? Did we have a little F? Yeah, I did not see that coming. Yeah, exactly. Neither did he. Yeah, not without hard proof. Yeah, exactly. So, it, it, again, I, I find it to be very funny that these are the same people that start talking about consequences for what you're saying on the Internet and how good that is. But now they're acting like victims whenever actual consequences happen. So no freedom of speech. Interesting. Um, libel and slander have never been freedom of speech. I'm not sure if you knew that or not. But yes, libel and slander have never been freedom of speech. Uh, I don't support them being freedom of speech. And I don't support calling random people Nazis with no repercussions and no reason to be able to say that. Like, there's no reason you should be able to do that. Legally, you shouldn't because the law for being speech would be bad. Like yeah. I said on Twitter, you know, and I've mentioned many times on our videos, these people have turned the word Nazi into being meaningless, which is really really tragic because it used to mean something um there was like not much else you could think of that's worse than that uh -huh. yeah um it, it was you know being called that was a ma massive insult now it just means you don't like the cartoon i liked or you don't like the tv yeah. show i liked or you don't you didn't I vote the way i thought you should vote or something stupid like that so they have already made the word meaningless which does a huge disservice. I mean, for all the talk of the goblins and Harry Potter being anti-Semitic, which is only a recent thing, by the way. I mean, the movies have been around. No, nah, I don't really agree with that. I think that people made the, co the, the correlation with the goblins being anti-Semitic by about the fourth or fifth movie. Somewhere around there, I, I think that a lot of people were talking about it. Like, whenever they actually went to Gringotts the first time, Yeah, no, I mean, like, we were a lot younger, but I do remember this happening. But, like, let's be real, okay? It was not even remotely as big as it is now. There were just a few people that were having commentary on this. But it's not like this was unknown. Over two decades, and I have only recently heard accusations that uh, J.K. Rowling made the goblins anti-Semitic. People said that was going on before, but, you know, if you look at goblins and you think Jewish person, there's a problem with you. Yeah, yeah. I don't necessarily agree with that either because I think that to that extent, any single time, like, so for example, any sort of, uh, you know, like black caricaturing or any sort of usage of stereotypes, being able to identify or see that this is a usage of this stereotype, I don't think this necessarily makes you a racist because you can identify that somebody could be using negative racial stereotypes. It doesn't really logically make sense. Now, it doesn't mean that every single time that you see someone that has something that could be portrayed as a negative racial stereotype, that is what it is. I think that's also very true. But the I don't like the logic of 
if you see this, then you're the actual racist. I think that if you if you see this and you say this is for sure what it is, then yeah, for sure. But no, I I think that it's it's fair to identify things. Does that make sense? It's not always a projection. Yeah, like there are actual anti-Semitic dog whistles. There are actual racist dog whistles that happen. And recognizing those things does not make you a racist for seeing them. That's, yeah, it's ridiculous. So uh, we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about that later. But okay. what, what happens is when somebody makes that accusation or when they decide you are a certain kind of person, mm -hmm. then they start looking for supporting evidence. So mm -hmm. what their supporting evidence is going to yeah. be is like, well, she's a Yahtzee, clearly, because she wrote the wrote the goblins to be anti-Semitic, which every single commenter on that Microsoft article was like, yeah, no, that's not true. Well, then I guess... Well, yeah, that's the thing, is that a lot of these people, you have to keep in mind that... Uh, what do you call it? You, you have to keep in mind that a lot of these people are just working backwards. They don't think about what they're saying at all. They just put this label on somebody. It's a dehumanization label. And this is just what happens, is that you, you, you put a label on somebody like, oh, they're a Nazi, or they're a racist, or um, like Antifa, like far-right extremist, like alt-right, and, and you put this label on them, and this allows you to dehumanize them. This allows you to treat them like they are no longer a person because they fall inside a category of people that do not deserve to be treated the same because of their own actions. So I'm, I'm very much against this. Uh, sometimes it is it, it, it makes sense, but I think in most cases it does not. They're Nazis because they've taken the word to make it, you know, mean mm -hmm. nothing so that there's nothing to throw at them. Oh, the irony. The irony yeah. in all this. So before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants. Guys, over, uh, what, 293, almost 294,000 subs. Yay! Thank you so much for the support. Uh, we have been talking a lot about Hogwarts Legacy lately because everybody's talking about Hogwarts Legacy. It is one of the most popular games released of the last couple of years. And, of course, people are going to air their grievances with uh, J.K. Rowling. Mm -hmm. You know, and they're going to use the game to do it because headlines, right? Mm -hmm. But now she's going to sue people if they defame her. And look, I, normally I'd be like, eh, turn the other cheek. Uh, you know, it's kind of ridiculous. Somebody just calls you names or whatever. No, what happens... Is I don't think that it's okay for people to defame you in a tangible way. I think it's okay if somebody criticizes and says that, you know, like their evaluation of your work is that it promotes anti-Semitic tropes. And also, she's not suing that person. She's suing the person specifically who called her a Nazi, which I think is totally fair. You shouldn't just be able to go around and say, hey, this person's a fucking Nazi, because wh why should you be able to do that? This can hurt their career. It can damage their credibility. It can make other people feel like it's okay to harass and attack them. And it's also not true. It's a, it's a very big accusation. You can't just go around throwing accusations out there with no evidence. Is That's These people are usually yeah. part of networks, and it's usually some kind of like coordinated attack. And they think if they repeat the term enough times that their friends in the media will pick up but on it. But they're right. They did. Yeah, That's they what did. happens. That's exactly what happens. They try to form this narrative because they're mad about something. And make no mistake, that I believe in a lot of cases, it's a coordinated effort. Yeah. Oh, it is. It is. There are discords and... Oh, yeah, definitely. There's groups of people that try to go out of their way to lay... It's the same as, like, in Classic WoW, whenever everybody would, like, report the same guy in, like, world boss coalitions. Like, my, my, my world boss coalition did this. They would always, like, all right-click the same person to report them to get them suspended. Like, of course people do this on Twitter. If we were doing this in Classic WoW, I mean, yeah, of course that's what's happening. Blacks and Facebook groups where journalists and Twitter activists uh, collude to try to get people canceled. And J.K. Rowling is, of course, the biggest target because she's one of the most famous act or, uh, authors in the world right now. And I also don't think that you need a formal conspiracy when interests converge and viewpoints converge. It's like I don't sit around and talk. I, I don't have a group chat with, like, the act man and the quartering where we talk about, you know, like, what videos we're going to make about this topic. It's just that we have, in general, like, kind of the same viewpoints on this.
So we're all going to make the same types of videos. Does that make sense? And, um, you know, Hogwarts Legacy is a huge deal. And uh, yeah, of course, you know, they're just going to flippantly call people Nazis. We've been called mm -hmm. Nazis. In fact, boy, I would love to sue Anime News Network for that one. But, uh, you know, we'll see. You mind your mind your manners. We'll mm -hmm. see where we're at. But the thing is, is you if, if you defame somebody and you run with this narrative that they are something they are not, and it actually hurts their career and hurts, you know, um, their their public persona, uh, then yeah, you you can actually get sued for it. This has happened on multiple occasions. It oh, happened yeah. with the CNN kid. Um, even it was freaking... the uh, the kid in the uh, fucking something Sandman, and he settled with CNN, and he probably got like millions of fucking dollars because they misrepresented him. In quartering, he got hit by a guy at Gen Con. And that guy, the guy in a dress, the guy had to, like Princess Matt or whatever his name was, he he had to apologize. Now, weirdly, the quartering got banned from Gen Con permanently, but I, I he still had was. to apologize and said, no, I do not think he is actually Did the other person Nazi. get banned from the quartering? No, from they Gen did Con? not. Of course not. They did See, not. See, I'd go after Gen Con for discrimination. But, you know, like, and J.K. Rowling has so much money that she could easily drag you people to court and keep dragging you to court. And it could drag you out until you run out of money and pull a Disney on you. Yeah. You oh, know? yeah. God, yeah, I, I think more people need to do this. So Twitter realizes that there are actually consequences. consequences. You can't just rant. You can fiercely disagree with somebody, mm -hmm. but you can't just call them Nazis. Uh, so this is coming from Fox News. Uh, rolling critic forced to publicly apologize for calling her a Nazi after a lawsuit threat. Self-professed drag queen and jazz hands enthusiast apologized to J.K. Rowling for uh, causing potential upset. But you literally put in their bio, Jazz Hands Enthusiast. Yes, yes. What? Um, so. The fuck is Jazz Hands? They talk about her controversy. We've talked about the that. The fuck like, is that? We don't need to go there again. But here we go. In December 2022, uh, Rowling responded to one of her detractors. The thing about the solicitor's game is everyone can play. JJ, I ignored your hyperbolic metaphor about burning me to death in 2020. I'm starting to think that was a mistake. What's your solicitor's view on this Nazi accusation? Would they advise you to defend it in court? And this is what JJ, Jazz Hands JJ said. Wisely, she screen capped it. So we've got the whole thing. Well, to be fair, the woman in question wasn't actually being threatened with being burned alive. Hyperbolic metaphor based on her original tweet. Thing. Oh, they're well, to be fair, the woman in question wasn't actually being threatened with being burned alive. Hyperbolic metaphor based on her original tweet. But you know that you're playing dumb intentionally for clout. And she also is a Nazi. Or at least has views that align in with them. Oh, she actually is a Nazi. Okay, so he actually did go, or at least has views that align with them. Yeah, nice try. They never clarify what way. I don't think these people understand what a Nazi uh -huh. actually is. I don't think they understand what fascism actually is. Oh, My man doubled is. down. Well, okay, so that... Well, people, of course, doubled down because he's probably used to spending his entire life using this term as a way to cow people into submission. So that's why he does it is because it works. Is that is the... Well, I'm like, oh, no, it doesn't matter. The thing is that... And, and this is actually a very effective way of intimidation. This is my best, my best advice, is that if you want people to be intimidated by you, never be fair. Always be unfair. Because fairness can be predicted, it can be calculated, and it can be uh, expected. But unfairness, maybe, you know, you get one like and you just say something, you know, that's like just kind of bad... And they take you to fucking court and you get a, a lawsuit from this person who's like a fucking billionaire. And like your entire life is like right in front of you. It could happen. You're going to have to go to court. And like, yeah, that's going to scare the shit out of people. Because there's no way to predict what they're going to do. And people are afraid of what they can't predict. Always be unpredictable. You're of the public school system because... Yeah, you know, we've done videos on that. There were there were schools that won't teach about World War II because it hurts people's feelings. I'm just like, you know, <laughs> yeah. I'm just like, I mean, and then the hype, hype, hype okay. So wait, if, so if someone threatens to hurt JJ here, can't they just say that, oh, that was this hyper, hyperbolic metaphor? Yeah. You right. know what I mean? Yeah. Because I'm like, they yell and scream if someone makes a comment to them, like them, you know, I'm going to slap you, you know, seven ways to Sunday. Oh my God, they threatened to, they threatened to hurt me. 
well, maybe it's hyperbolic metaphor. You know, I mean. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think that you can make hyperbolic metaphors that don't have to do with physical violence. It's pretty simple. You just don't do it. Like, yeah, just that that's it. Problem solved. Yeah, you really have to be careful because here's the thing. Again, you know, five or six years ago, I would have been like, eh, whatever, they're just calling you names. Now we know that these people will go out of their, their way to try to destroy your career. They'll, they'll try to drive you to suicide. They'll put your address out there hoping somebody else harms you and they don't have the balls to do it. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Oh, of course. Right. Because will, will they believe that you're an evil, bad person? And it's like, these are the people that think that it's okay to punch Nazis and anybody who disagrees with them is a Nazi. <laughs> I can see where this is going. Like the doxing and stuff, that that's not, yeah, they'll say, well, I just posted publicly, uh, uh, publicly um, available information, but they'll put- Somebody says, so it's not okay to punch Nazis. No, it's not okay to punch Nazis. I will go out there and I will say it. No, you don't just to go, you don't get to just go ahead and just ignore the law because some person that you decided is a Nazi is a Nazi. No, it's not. Like that, there is a there. We have we have a rule of law in the country. We can't just have people going out like you're not Batman. You're just a bitch, and you're not going to be punching anybody. You're just, you're, you're chatting away at two in the morning. You're not going to be punching anybody. Stop it. No, it's not okay to hit anybody. Unless they hit you first, then you can do whatever you want. All the information in one place with a with a bow tie on it hoping and put it in a place where they know crazy people congregate uh -huh. hoping that somebody comes along and does what they fantasize about doing but they won't oh, actually yeah. do themselves well, like they had those people talking about how there was the the one feminist convention in was it uk and they had mm -hmm. people coming in uh, women of color women muslim women coming in and they were like someone should burn the hotel down you it was know? a comic book artist mm -hmm. It was a turf. Yeah, it was a guy who's been uh, look the the guy that was involved in that. This guy has been stalking comic book. I think this is a uh, this is an internet problem in general that people feel way too comfortable saying psychotic things on the internet. And the problem is that these psychotic things, as the internet has evolved and changed, these psychotic things have real life outcomes, because like. Who cared what somebody said in 2006? It didn't matter what they say on the internet. Because, like, your name on the internet was Pussy Slayer 420 and his name was, uh, you know, uh, you, you know, Halo Master, you know, fucking 555. Well, well, <laughs> that's as far as it's going to go. Nobody, nobody's getting docs. Nobody, like, they don't even know what that is. Like, there's just, like, yeah, how are you going to figure any of this shit out? Why should I make care? So the problem now is like, that's just simply not the way the internet is anymore. The world has changed and you just can't have people popping off like that. It's just, you can't have that. Creators on YouTube, you know, YouTube comics creators for years. And he was just like, yeah, we should burn the building down. Like, what is wrong with you? I don't think most people have problems with trans women. They have problems with the fact that this small group is not even representative of all the trans women. I think people don't like anybody telling them what to do. It doesn't matter who it is. Somebody says in chat, uh, if I ever see an actual Nazi with a swastika, I would in fact beat the shit out of them. Giga Chad, it's my goddamn right as an American. Actually, it's not. If you If you go into the law you will see that there is actually not a there's not a little asterisk next to assault that if they have a swastika it's okay to punch them so that's it's very funny that you say that it's your right because that's actually not true and not only is it not true it's the opposite of true so yeah i mean i don't know what to say how about how about just don't punch people how about that can you imagine that? Like, just, just like not punching people, not starting violence. And why is it always trans women and not trans men? But the small group is out there trying to say that somehow they're women and women that Cringy are born women ever. are not. Yeah, it and is. that's it's the so problem. Sad. You're a, you're a menstruating person, or you have to use menstruating person because men, you know trans men aren't women now or whatever. But this, this this small group of people are trying to force their viewpoints on. 
a lar much larger group of people. And, you know, that larger group of people, you know, who were, you know, did, were a minority, were protected. They don't believe they should have any rights now because they should only have the rights. And that's why it's okay to threaten to burn down a hotel with a feminist group in it. Well, I think the best part about this is most of the people that are threatening to burn down hotels aren't even part of this group. The people that are going out and making these psychotic posts are not even part of the protected group that they're trying to help. These are just psychos that are looking for a witch to burn. It's a tale as old as time. Yeah, this is this is of course reached peak insanity. Yeah. What what is? Well, give them time. They'll probably find another peak. <sighs> The, the problem is, is you're actually hurting your cause. When you become militant like this, you're actually hurting your cause. It's like the exactly the bans on Hogwarts Legacy and- uh... S Somebody said this in chat too. I'll read this one too. Like it's so fucking unfair. Being trans is a death sentence to my social media because I'm automatically lumped in with psycho Twitter users who think they speak for all of us. Well, unfortunately you have to deal with other psycho Twitter users that are the opposite. That's the thing. Is you're just dealing with another set of psycho Twitter users. No, most everybody, nobody's blaming you. Nobody gives a fuck. Like I, nobody here cares. We're just trying to watch the video. We're trying to play video games. But yes, there are people that are going to try to take their agenda and put it in everything. Harassing streamers and all that stuff. Even left wingers. Even Hassan Abi was uh -huh. like, "You've gone too far. This <laughs> yeah. is crazy." I was actually. <laughs> Hassan managed to fucking. Oh God, I feel so bad for Hassan. He tried to say something that was like obviously true, and they're like, "No, we're freedom fighters. We're gonna fight to the last one of us. We ain't gonna go down without trying." He gets caught in a crossfire. Yeah, he's getting hate from people for not playing it. And he's getting hate for people for saying that he's not going to play it. And then he's not, he's getting hate from other people for not playing it. So it's just like, everybody's mad at this guy. I, I don't know. I feel really bad. It, it, he did, it wasn't fair at all. Yeah. He's stuck between a rock and our place. Yeah. Literally you can't win. You gotta stream it and give the money to like the Trevor project or something like yeah. some charity and, and you screw that up. And all yep. it's doing is creating more division, yes. more more hate, more um, distrust between people, and and it doesn't need to be this way. And we keep saying like years ago, it wasn't. Like so guys, guys, please, please, can we not do this thing? He accommodates the punch not to be. Okay, so fine, I disagree with him on that. Like I have a lot of disagreements with a lot of people, and it doesn't bother me. I, I, yeah, I, I disagree with him on that. I disagreed with him on the cracker thing as well. There are things that I've said that he disagrees with. It's not a big deal. Like, I don't need to, like, in order to, like, appreciate what somebody does, I don't have to approve of every single thing that they've ever said. Yeah, it doesn't bother me. Like this. And you know, for all their work comes so far. No, you haven't. You've set us back decades with this bullshit. Mm -hmm. God. So yeah, the death, the death eaters here. Um, so yeah, she responded with a threat of legal action in December. Oh, yeah. Okie dokie, JJ, jazz hands, JJ. We'll play it your way. Give my regards to your solicitor. On Monday, two months after the Nazi accusation, Wells issued a retraction. Ah, there it is. I would like is. to publicly apologize for Fucking a around Twitter and thread finding where I interacted out. with JK Rowling on matters relating to the transgender community. I have now removed these tweets and would like to apologize to JK Rowling directly for causing potential upset. I would, I would also like to retract my likening to JJ, uh -huh. to uh, JK Rowling, to any far right or Nazi organization and emphasize I do not wish any individual inclusive of JK Rowling to come to any harm. Yeah, lawyer wrote that. Lawyer mm -hmm. wrote that. <laughs> so must, yep. She must have followed through. Yeah. Uh, this needs to happen more often. I, I'm going to tell you the truth. Like you can call people names, whatever, but again, the intention isn't just to make them feel bad. The intention is to destroy their lives, get that label to stick hopefully get them to kill themselves or something. I mean, these people are absolutely vicious and malicious. Oh yeah. They're absolutely. not going to do anything, but they're going to try to weaponize other people yeah. to do stuff. Right. That's exactly what they're trying to do. Like don't make the bullets want somebody else to fire them. So no, I, I, I agree with that. I, I think that if somebody like this killed themselves, there'd be a ton of people celebrating it. Absolutely. As ghoulish as that sounds, 
As with most things in life, I'm taking the black pill. I think that's what would happen. Oh, it wasn't me. It wasn't me. I got all people upset. I went out deliberately to upset people to get them riled up. And then I said, no oh, there intended. they are. No yeah, yeah. Intended. There they are. Yep. Go, that's where they live. Go get them. And then something happens. But it, I'm innocent. I, was, I, I, I didn't do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, I mean, this is, this is ridiculous. Um, you know, and the thing is, is she's got more money now because of people like you, JJ, because you threatened her, you dogpiled her. <laughs> uh, all these people are, are, are calling for a boycott of Hogwarts legacy yeah. because of all the backlash, because of her being targeted. And she was one of the most beloved authors of you know the last century. Uh -huh. Because of all this, you actually guaranteed that she's going to make Hogwarts money for years to come. She's mm -hmm. going to make Wizarding World money for years to come. And if she has to use a little bit of that to smack a bitch here and there, you do what you got to do. <laughs> well, right? I just think it's funny because then there's other news sites talking about how her grandkids are going to have money. And they, they, they should, someone should just punch them. You know, oh my God, <laughs> this is this is ridiculous. Well, yeah, she's got I, a I haven't seen that. So I, I, don't, gonna, uh, I don't know what that is. Talk with a Barry Weiss, I think, about it. Um, and that's they're kind of promoting that right now. But yeah, she's I mean, she's been canceled harder yeah. than anybody I can think of. But it's actually backfired tremendously. I mean, it's it's, you know, and a lot of companies now are like, yeah, she really I mean, even if they don't you know, agree with her, they're like, can we agree that Harry Potter's pretty good and we're going to all make money on Harry Potter? That's why the companies like that's why the companies like her. You see the money part. Ah, there we go. That's the big part. I don't know. Yeah. Harry Potter. But, you know, to get the stick, of course, all you know, these companies will post flags on Pride Month all 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 every year, every single time. But if it comes between money and, and doing that, then, oh, well, this is a different situation. We're going to have to look at people's freedom of speech. We're going to have to see what they have to say. People have their rights. And, you know, we're not entirely sure what she says. Bro, you're being played if any of that marketing is effective to you. You are being absolutely fucking hoodwinked. They're, they're trying to play this goblin card now. And, mm -hmm. again, I didn't hear anything about this when... The movie first came out. Apparently, it was a thing, but very, it was a very little thing. And, yeah. So, for t almost 20 years, nobody really mentioned it until they decided they didn't like her. Now, they're going to dig this up. Yeah. Here's the thing. When I look at the characters, I don't think, oh, it's a Jewish person. person. I think it's a goblin. Just like, you know, orcs. I don't think, oh, my God, it's a black person. I'm just like, oh, it's an orc. Yeah, yeah, people said orcs were black people. This is pretty popular, like, maybe two years ago. A lot of people aren't saying this anymore because there's not really much of a foundation on it. No, like, what what she's saying is, I understand that, like, it might seem like a big diversion, but yes, uh, th this did happen. You know, because it's not real. God, this is ridiculous. Um, yeah, so they're really... Re I, I think that the goblin thing, like you can, I, I think you can make a very strong argument that the way goblins are portrayed in most forms of traditional fantasy media does have massive overlaps with Jewish stereotypes. I think you can absolutely say that. I think you're right. But I think that what goblins are and the like lore and everything about that has transcended so far from what that looks on a surface level that you can say that, but it is disingenuous to say that because of that, they are anti-Semitic fundamentally. Does that make sense? Reaching not, I haven't seen, other than these these media, okay, it's coming from Game Pure. It's not like, it's a- uh, The ones are Mexican? No, they're Scottish. Other than, some of these journos on these outlets, I haven't seen a lot of real people mentioning this, talking about it. No, because they're trying to create a controversy. That's what they, they... That's, she's 100% right about this. The anti-Semitic plot controversy thing, like this is, they're creating controversy and creating drama so they can make videos and make, uh, you know, like do, do articles about this. Like, you know, how, how could I possibly know that? do to find to cancel her. right they they, not just, generate, just that or anything yeah they need news they need clicks Stupid, yeah and they want they want to get their own way so they're gonna you're just gonna make up shit and generate stuff just to cause an issue just to try to try to do whatever they can and it's like but then they look like they're how istophobic are they because they're perpetuating this idea that goblins are standings for jewish people how anti-semitic of you yeah right I, but, again, uh, I find that happy. to be such an intellectually dishonest argument.
I, I think that to an extent that is true, but I, I find it to be an intellectually dishonest argument, even though I agree with the, 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 the conclusion that she has. I think that's a bad way to get at it. It at this point, it, it, this is gonna People pass. Onto this shit. They're on to it. I You're think, welcome. <laughs> I think that the J.K. Rowling situation, the Harry Potter situation, is gonna be a massive tipping point. Because even people that are, you know, on the left that are down with trans rights and all that are even like, this has gone too far. It's insane. You know, you shouldn't be harassing people for playing a game that she barely had anything to do with. Mm -hmm. And yeah, you're gonna fool around. You're gonna get yourself sued. And I, I, it needs to happen more often. More people should get sued for trying to destroy other people's careers intentionally mm -hmm. with lies. Now, if you're saying, hey, this person did that or whatever, but I mean, you're flat out saying she is a Nazi which is patently untrue, and you're repeating it again and again and again. You figure if you all say it in lockstep, it'll make it true. Yeah. You're, just because you repeat a lie a hundred times doesn't make it the truth. You're reading You're reading too much yeah. Harry Potter. It's not like a spell where you can all just like mm -hmm. make it happen by wanting it to happen. We gotta wrap this up. Mm -hmm. Okay, so please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye. Yep, there it is. I pretty much agree with this. Absolutely. Uh, I, I think more people need to be held accountable whenever they're saying something that is just so, like, blatantly untrue, like calling somebody a Nazi. Like, that is just fucking crazy to say that. Like, I, I mean, if you looked into, like, what Nazis really did... <laughs> bro, like, that was some disgusting, horrible shit. It's not even remotely close. It was much worse. Yeah, I mean, come on. Yeah, the Schindler's List. Yeah, I mean, there's some stuff like... Uh, I mean, uh, there was like some... Like, this wasn't a very common thing, but like they would make skin with people's... Or make make furniture, like lamps with people's skin. Uh, it was obviously like, you know, gassing all of them, having them sell each other out, human experiments. Like everything, man. It was nuts. Experiment on twins, yeah. Carpets with hair. I didn't hear about the carpets with hair. Uh, that could have been that they they killed pregnant woman. Yeah, of course. I mean, that's the kind of stuff that they did. You know why? Because they were fucking Nazis. They're not tweeting. They're going out and they're killing people systematically. Yeah, Nazis killed over six million civilians. They killed a lot of people, man. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, there's the video. Uh, I think this is a great video. I, I, I hope that more people get held accountable for just spreading lies uh, with no foundation whatsoever. I think that saying that the, uh, you, you know, providing, just like in, for, for context, I also think that saying that the, the game has anti-Semitic tropes, I also think is totally fine. I don't think there's anything wrong with saying that because it, 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 it's critical, um, uh, it's critical review. Even though I disagree with it, and I think it's stupid, it is critical review. A truth, one needed, one needed truth.